Did you ever play a game that catches you by surprise on how good it is, despite it not initially coming off that way? Well, Crash and Burn is one of those games. Developed by Climax Racing, which would later become Blackrock Studio, Crash and Burn is a vehicular combat game that released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox. From the surface, the game looks rather unassuming compared to the well-known titles from Blackrock, with average graphics, basic UI design, and being advertised at an incredible $20 price point, you might think this is just another shovelware racing game. Yet the game ends up being one of the more unique and crazy experiences in the genre. In this video, I'm going to dive into why I love Crash and Burn, from its AI, game modes, tracks, physics, and vehicle customization. I would do a disservice to this game if I didn't cover its AI drivers first. Crash and Burn has some absolutely unhinged AI. Firstly, they drive rather well. Especially since there seems to be no rubber band mechanics, catching up to the race leaders after falling behind can be quite difficult. Secondly, they are very relentless with their attacks. If anyone is beside them or in their way, the AI will probably hit them. They have no regard for other drivers, meaning you'll see them collide into someone that has stopped or going through an intersection without even trying to avoid them. Lastly, there are a total of 15 AI drivers with you on track, which is a lot more than even some racing games today. When you combine the high AI count with their great driving, lack of rubber banding, aggressive combat, and their disregard for other racers, these AI are brutally fun to play against. Crash and Burn has a great selection of game modes, taking place on tracks and arenas. The track game modes include racing, team racing, kamikaze, and team kamikaze. For the arena game modes, you have last man standing, team last man standing, bomb tag, running man, and assassination. My favorite racing mode has to be kamikaze. Half the drivers go in the forward direction, while the other half drives in the opposite direction. This leads to some of the most insane pileups and crashes ever when the drivers finally meet up. While the game mainly focuses on its racing modes, definitely don't sleep on its arena offerings. Bomb Tag is easily my favorite arena mode, as bombs are passed around from driver to driver until one is remaining. Nothing is more scary than seeing all the AI around you scatter when the driver with the bomb comes at them. Crash and Burn does a great job of providing fun game modes that I really haven't seen in any other vehicular combat game. There are two important aspects to Crash and Burn's tracks. One comes down to the design of the courses, and the other being what the developers call emergent track design. Firstly, the track design. Admittedly, the courses are nothing special, as they are rather basic and short compared to other games in the genre. However, they are designed in a way to facilitate mayhem. A lot of them have narrow sections where pileups are inevitable. Plenty of them also have intersections where T-bone crashes are bound to happen. Each track also has a variant where obstacles are added in like ramps and sandbanks that can roll your car. These circuits end up mashing very well with the game's emergent track design. During the race, the course starts to build up with vehicular wreckage. When an AI dies, their vehicle corpse will not despawn, becoming an obstacle on track. Oil is also usually spilled when a car is wrecked, causing a loss of grip for a short time when driving over it. While the oil and car bodies can be seen as more of an annoyance, there is one more hazard that is much more dangerous. Gasoline. Gas is usually spilled when cars are in constant combat with each other. It can be lit on fire by vehicle backfire, boosting, or if another car explodes. This fire is very dangerous as you will lose some of your health when driving through it. It's absolutely insane to see a huge wall of fire that many times you need to go right through because there's just no way around it. The short track lengths, tight course design, and emergent track design makes the circuits just as hazardous as the AI you drive with. 
While Crash and Burn is not in my top 5 for racing game vehicle physics, it's still quite good. Handling is responsive, with cars gripping and then sliding out in a natural feeling way. Vehicles also feel rather heavy, with a good amount of downforce, and landing from jumps with a satisfying thump. Cars sway and lean when accelerating and turning. However, the game's crash physics is the main highlight here. Each smash, crash, and roll has a good feeling of weight and momentum. Easily the most insane aspect of these physics is the head-on collisions. Cars fly backwards in this extreme and cartoonish way that is just beautiful to watch. There is just a certain force to these crashes without it feeling overly bouncy or scripted. Crash and Burn not only has solid driving physics, but it also has some of the most exaggerated crash physics I've ever seen in a vehicular combat game. The vehicle customization in Crash and Burn is actually pretty good. There are only four cars, being Compact, Pickup, Muscle, and Sport. To make the best of this small car list, the customization per vehicle is very extensive. The front and rear parts are so vastly varied in their design that you can build very different looking vehicles despite having the same body shape. Side skirts, Hoods, rims, and spoilers also vary heavily, adding more possibilities to your design. Lastly, there is a great amount of vinyls and decals to choose from, with an in-depth paint color system for car parts and vinyls. Crash and Burn definitely doesn't have the best vehicle customization I've ever seen, but it helps to make the cars feel distinct from each other, despite only having four models to choose from. Crash and Burn is one of those games that surprises me on how well it's designed for seemingly being a lower budget production. From its unhinged AI, exciting game modes, hazardous tracks, fun physics, and interesting vehicle customization, it's a very unique experience. For those who love vehicular combat games like Destruction Derby and Flat Out, definitely try Crash and Burn if you haven't already. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.